Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. If you ever find yourself in an interstellar-esque situation where you're being pulled into a black hole, just remember, all hope is not lost. You might actually be transported into another universe. If you didn't know, black holes get their name from the fact that nothing escapes them. But Stephen Hawking now thinks that there could be a way out of a black hole through another universe. In a speech for about 1,000 people at Harvard, the 77-year-old renowned physicist discussed the groundbreaking theory saying that black holes do not keep physical information about anything it absorbs. He said black holes aren't the eternal prisons they were once thought things can get out of a black hole, both from the outside and possibly through another universe. So if you ever feel you're in a black hole, don't give up, there's a way out. In 1974, Hawking came up with what was dubbed the Hawking Radiation, a new theory that shocked the world of physics. He said that black holes thermally create and emit subatomic particles until they lose all their energy and evaporate entirely. This means that black holes are not entirely black, nor do they last forever. Whereas conventional wisdom at the time said that black holes were places where gravity pulled so hard nothing could get out, including light. Basically, every particle in physics has information or kind of like a fingerprint, something that makes it distinct. This is especially important in quantum physics where two seemingly distinct and separate particles can act on each other even at great distances. So what happens when one of these particles is sucked into a black hole? Where does the information go? Does it still act on his counterpart. According to Hawking, these particles could not just come out when the black hole vanishes, and the information about what went inside the black hole, aside from the amount of rotation and the total amount of mass, would appear to be lost. Hawking also explained that if the information about the bodies that form black holes is not lost, then black holes contain much information that is hidden from the outside world. However, if the information is indeed lost, then it would change the way we think about science saying for more than 200 years we have believed in the science of determinism. That is that the laws of science determine the evolution of the universe. Now that's kind of a big deal. Hawking is saying that because science is built on determinism, where you gather information and use that information to build a conclusion, that is pretty much impossible to do in a black hole. And as Hawking points out, that has some troubling implications. If determinism can break down inside a black hole, it can also break down everywhere else. So imagine for a moment the idea that history, our memories, are just all illusions. And what we know to be true based on what we've learned might cease to exist in a moment. Basically, according to Hawking, the history books and our memories could just be illusions. It is the past that tells us who we are. Without it, we lose our identity. Hawking said it's possible that black holes could be as massive as the distance from the Sun to Jupiter, which would have a diameter of about a billion miles. But he said they could also be relatively tiny, such as the size of a mountain. And it may also be possible for humans to create minuscule black holes. Hawking has been focusing on understanding one of the lingering mysteries about black holes, what happens to matter when it gets sucked into one. He no longer believes that the contents of that matter are destroyed, saying it's like burning an encyclopedia. The information is not lost if you keep all the ashes, but it's difficult to read. He said it's also possible that the matter is sent to another universe, making it seem like it disappeared from our universe. I just found this story really interesting, and this just goes to show that science as we know it is still developing. A theory or even something we have accepted as fact may change as new information is discovered. So perhaps the only thing that is absolute is that there are no absolutes. Got a question for you guys. If we develop the technology to somehow transport, let's say, a human being in a spacecraft into a black hole as an experiment to see where it goes, would you volunteer? And there's a chance that it may go to another universe, or there's a chance that you may die and never be able to get back out, or there's a chance you're able to time travel like Matthew McConaughey. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. See you later.